when I did mission work in the Dominican Republic in the tropics, I missed the season of autumn the most in Wisconsin. On the 467th straight sunny day, I prayed for a cloud. And every October, I'd be nostalgic about just the change of the colors of the leaves, uh, the, crisp, the crispness in the morning, um, wearing a jacket, um, harvest moons, all the beauty of the season, especially in our beloved state of Wisconsin. Every season has something to teach us spiritually. And when I think of autumn, I think of the importance of embracing surrender, of letting go of things as we have known them to be, um, accepting change and preparing for winter. So nature always puts on its most beautiful dress right before it surrenders to the, uh, the snow and to the cold, uh, to the long and dark nights and to the ice, only to reemerge in the spring. So no wonder that uh, first Christians saw the whole cycle of nature as an uh, illustration of the Paschal mystery, death to life. When we think of Jesus' ministry, it's in the high summer of his public life that he performs his miracles, that he has the crowds following him, that he's teaching the parables, that he's forming his apostles, that he's feeding the hungry, healing the sick, um, blessing the children. And you can just see his divine power beautifully and powerfully at work, the high summer of his ministry. But then autumn hits, crowds disappear, the miracles seemingly stop, and eventually Jesus is betrayed, arrested, imprisoned, accused, put on trial, scourged, and taken out on the cross. And when we look at that, on a human level, that seems to be absolute defeat, destruction, and death. And yet as Christians, we know that Jesus' most efficacious act was his death on the cross, because by it, we are saved from our sins. And so autumn teaches us that lesson. I think of a mighty oak tree that gradually surrenders its leaves, and by November, it's just this patchwork of branches um, silhouetted against a, a gray November sky. This, this tree that stands strong, that is weathered every season. So when I think of a, a tree in November stripped of its life, I think of the cross. I think of the cross by which we are saved, that when we surrender to the changes, to the losses, when we grieve the people that have gone from us, uh, when we accept the limitations that life presents, there's a power in that that unites us to the whole mystery of Christ in his death and resurrection. And the surrender to winter is to also know the confidence that, that spring once again will renew us and revive us, the ultimate spring of God's eternal life and resurrection. This beautiful season of fall has secret lessons to teach us of, of surrender, of acceptance, of letting go. We pray that the Lord inscribe those lessons on our hearts in these beautiful days.